Hey, beautiful people, it's your girl T, and I'm here to do a first impressions mini review. You guys know I do mini reviews. I don't do full thorough reviews um, because um, I'm not really <laughs> um, someone who's qualified to do that, I would, I guess <laughs> you would say. Um, I'm, I'm just going to do, um, you know, just a little mini review, talk about these Art & Fly color pencils. So I was contacted by Art & Fly to do a um, you know mini review or to show these products on my channel um, so that maybe my subscribers who might be interested could take a look and see if they would like these for their own collection, okay, for your own stash. So they sent me the 24 portrait um, oil-based colored pencils in this nice cute little tin. Um, then they sent me this 48 uh, color pencil set, but it's inside of a little um, cardboard uh, cylinder, the cute little top. And then they sent me the 72 set and a 10, okay? So what we're gonna do is I'm going to um, do some swatching. I'm gonna swatch, I've, I've already swatched the 24 and the 48, so I'm gonna swatch the 72 and then do some coloring with them and to let you guys know what I think about the pencils, um, like I normally do on my little mini reviews um, or first impression videos. Okay, but before we get started, let me move some of this stuff out of the way. And let's see here. I just want to tell you guys a little bit about uh, the Art and Fly pencils. And well, I'll just keep this one here for visual. Um, a visual you guys can have while I'm talking. <laughs> um, so, Art and Fly, on their website, basically, they're stating that their colored pencils are high-quality, oil-based pencils. Um, they're saying that they have thick, soft, thick cores, and that they're good for shading and layering, and that they resist to breaking and cracking, that they're ultra-smooth, and they lay down evenly. Um... So they also say on their website that they have great light fast results on most of their colors. Um, I'm trying to find more information about that. If I do find that information, I will put that in the description um, section so you guys can you know read about that or see what I found about the light fast. Typically, light fast pencils from you know. Um, from my experience with using so many different sets, they will actually indicate it on the pencil. I didn't see any indicators on the actual pencil as to what the light fast rating is on those that, that are considered to be light fast. And so therefore I really can't confirm which ones in these sets are, okay? So let's go ahead and open these up. So these are the 24 portrait sets, okay? And so it tells you they're smooth, vibrant, easy to blend. We're gonna open it up. The tin is hinged, so you can, if you'd like to keep your tin, you can. This is a nice one. You have your color palette, your colors here are the tin, and they are in numerical order. No, 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 I'm sorry, they're not. This one is not in numerical order. This one here, as you can see, the numbers are all mixed up. Some people don't like this. Some people are like, oh no, they have to be in numerical order. Um, I kept them this way just for the video, but for my own um, 10 that I'm going to keep, they will be in numerical order. All right, so you can see these pencils. See what they look like. You have Art and Fly written here in silver with their little um, symbol, okay? And then you have the end cap dipped in the color paint that matches, supposed to match the, the tip. As you can see, it doesn't really match. I'm gonna take that down a little bit. You can see it's, this is lighter than the pencil lead. Um, so that's why I like to do swatches because you can't always go by that. Um, this has a number. You guys can see that? Come on, zoom. Okay, so you have the number. So this is number 14 and it is brick. Okay, so they do say the number and the name of the pencil. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys the swatches I did for the portrait set. This is a swatch of the portrait set. Okay. 
All right. And I'll zoom in a little bit so you guys can see that a little better. All right, so as you can see, um, beautiful colors. Now, the paper that I'm using here is a sketchbook uh, paper, um, which is gonna be, it has, it has tooth, so you can see some of the white here. Um, I like to use sketchbook paper or color pencil paper when doing swatches. Even though I know my coloring books, for the majority of them, don't have this kind of paper, I feel like I get the best, um, I get to see really what you know the pencil can do on this kind of paper when I do my swatches. So I really like this nice um, arrange, array of colors here. <laughs> and they have a nice um, array of, of browns here. So this is the Portrait 24 set. All right, so the next set um, is the 48 set, okay? Again, this comes in a little um, container here. Let me zoom back out for you guys. Okay, so a lot of people don't like this. I mean, if you are, if you are short on space, then this would be sufficient. If you don't have a lot of space or you're in um, small spaces, you might like to keep uh, your pencils in a cylinder like this. Now this is a 48 set, so you get a, a lot of nice colors, a nice, a nice selection of colors. You're not gonna be able to tell what it's just looking like at the pencils here. So I did swatch those so you guys could see. Um, one thing I did not like um, in this cylinder of pencils, um, you know, I think it's probably harder for them to do quality control, meaning, um, making sure that every single color is in the cylinder. Um, it's easier to do that with a tray because you, you'd have a missing tray, a missing pencil in the tray, or um, sometimes I've gotten double colors, but at least if you know, did I put a 67 or did I you know, put this one in here, you could see that um, better than you could if you know this is just in here this way. So needless to say, this 48 set was missing a color. It was missing cedar number 67. Um, the good thing is that uh, all of these colors that you see here are also in the portrait set and in the 72 set. So the 72 set of course has um, more colors, so it's gonna be more than this one. Another difference with this 48 set is that it came with a silver and gold whereas the 72 set did not come with a silver and gold. Neither did you get a silver and gold in the portrait set. So that is another difference. Um, if you're looking, if you like, you know, having metallics or, or metal colors, then a 48 set would be the set to get if you're looking to have, um, you know, those two colors. So yes, that was a bummer not to have, to have one missing, especially, uh, you know, when I'm doing a, a review on them. So hopefully they're watching and, you know, their customer service probably should be really good. Um, and hopefully, and I did let them know. So I'm just waiting for a response um, on the missing pencil just to see how they take care of those types of issues. Okay, so next um, I'm going to show you is the uh, 48 sketch, um, the 48 swatch, the swatches I did. So as you can see, it's a nice array of colors. You have a nice group of yellows. You get like maybe just three oranges maybe. And you have nice colors here. Um, they are smooth. I do like how smooth they are. Um, this is the second sheet. Um, and as you can see, I have Miss Missy one, so I left it blank. And then you have your gold and your silver here that you don't get in the other sets. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and do some swatching of the 72 set. Um, I like to do swatching with you guys. Um, typically I do it before I use pencils, like color pictures with them. I like to do swatches first because again, I like to use my swatches when I'm trying to figure out what colors to use or what's gonna go good together. Um, some people may not do it that way, but that's just me, my personal preference. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and start swatching. Let me move some things out of the way, so please bear with me. All right, so 
Now I'm gonna swatch the 72 set. So um, this 72 set um, is 72 pencils, duh. <laughs> and here are the colors in the 72 set. So you're getting two trays. These trays are are, are kind of flimsy, but not as flimsy as some others that I've, that I've um, experienced. But these are the colors. You can see there's a lot of beautiful colors. And what I thought was interesting about this 72 set is that they have these in color um, number order. So these are in number order. So I was able to um, at least see how their order is on the 72. Um, 48 is also listed on the on the box in number order, but on the box it does not have the color names. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start swatching these. We're gonna go ahead and skip white because it really doesn't show up. <laughs> and I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see this better. I hope everybody is doing well, and I hope that my Zoom is gonna work for me, or my focus rather, because sometimes my autofocus acts wonky and I don't know why it does that. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. So hopefully I won't have an issue with this, um, this video. All right, so just one moment. All right, so we're gonna start swatching. This is the fun part for me, guys. I don't know, a lot of people don't like doing this, but I, I love doing swatches. It's so fun for me. All right, so we're gonna start, I'm not gonna do white, because again, it doesn't show up, but we're gonna go and start with yellow. And hopefully this won't take too long. I'm not gonna do two, and you guys, I'm holding the pencil up here so that I don't have to press hard and you guys can see, um, that we're getting nice pigment off of these. So they seem to be highly pigmented. Okay. So again, I'm not gonna do, I normally go over them twice, but for time, I'm not gonna do that. All right, so next is gonna be yeah, uh, lemon. Now I did notice on this one here, um, when I was using it, I saw some red streaking um, I don't know if that's coming from the, from if some of the paint from the, you know how they put the paint here. Sometimes that gets on the lead and, you know, comes through there. So I don't see any red inside of the lead. So I'm hoping that's just, you know, uh, the initial uh, swatch for that. So now we're going to go lemon. Look at how, look at how deep that is. Look at that pigment. So I hope everyone's doing well. It's time for me to do a color and chat because I haven't done one in a long time. I just um, get so busy with work and then as soon as I get off work, I'm so tired that I don't want to do anything. I don't want to do anything but color, sit in the bed and color. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I hope everyone else is doing well. Um, this is dandelion, it's another yellow, and it's actually pretty nice. Okay. Next we got canary. <clears throat> uh, summer seems to be going by fast, I don't know about anyone else. This summer is going by super duper fast. You guys, these are going on nice and smooth. I'm not really pressing that hard. But again, this is also sketchbook paper. Um, this is, people ask me, this book here is a Hobby Lobby book. And let me tell you, um, I forget who it's by. It's their main brand at Hobby Lobby. And typically, um, that's the one I usually get because they're inexpensive. They're usually on sale. Um, and then sometimes I will use Canson, just depends. Um, but this is a Hobby Lobby book, and it's an eight and a half by 11 book, okay? All right, so next we have Sepia. Yeah, I really like, um, I like soft pencils. Uh, they're, they're, they're nice for people who, um, 
who tend to press hard. <laughs> uh, or maybe not, <laughs> if you don't like to have a lot of pigment coming onto your page. And this is honey. Um, but I'm, I'm one of these people who don't like to do tons and tons of layers. So the more pigment that comes on with a light or a medium pressure, the better it is for me. All right, so we have butterscotch. Some nice colors in this set. And like I explained, um, you know, if you get the 48 set, you're gonna get two pencils that are not in this 72. You're gonna get all of the, you're gonna have all of the skin tones because it, it's not like they created a separate, uh, it's not like they created new colors for the skin tone set. They actually went to their 72 set and took those colors that they consider skin tones um, out and made a skin tone package. So. If you're someone who wants to, you know, like some people have full set syndrome. Um, some people like to have, you know, all of the colors. In this case, you really wouldn't have to get all, you know, the two sets, the portrait set and this set to have, you know, portrait colors because they are within the set. That one was very highly pigmented. Okay, pumpkin. These are smooth. I can't wait to color with them. I'm not colored with them yet, just doing swatches. Very smooth, I like that. I like working with those kind of soft pencils, but I also like hard pencils too, guys. I, I, I really like colored pencils, period. They don't have to be saw oil, they don't have to be wax. I'm, I'm not too picky because I do know that, you know, a lot of times it's the paper that we're using that either doesn't give us the results we want or gives us the results that we want. Um, that's one thing that I have learned by watching a lot of artists, color pencil artists, um, you know, looking at the paper that they're using um, and Usually it's gonna be paper, for colored pencil art, it's paper that is made for colored pencils. So, I mean, you can use other types of paper, like, you know, just normal sketchbook paper like I'm using here. Um, but, you know, a lot of this uh, paper, like in the Amazon Create Space Books, the ones we're getting printed from Amazon, that paper is not um, artist quality paper. So, you know, you're gonna have to work that paper, <laughs> work those pencils on that paper. And I feel like this this pencil might do well. You might have to use a blender. So I might do, I might color something from a, an Amazon printed book just to see how they work in that on that paper for you guys. Very deep, nice deep oranges. Perfect for uh, fall. So these are these are really nice. This is brick. So basically, I go dark pressure, mm, dark, <laughs> um, hard pressure, lighten it up a little bit, medium, and then very light as light as I can. We have chili. That's a pretty color. Next we have true red. Sorry, I was not in screen there. True red. Whenever you see true red, you're like, okay, let's see. Let's see if it's gonna be a true, true red. <laughs> um, that's a nice red. It's a nice deep red. Very nice. 
And then we have crimson. <clears throat> Hope you guys have been able to get out and do something fun for the summer. I will be heading to California soon and really excited about that. I haven't seen my family in almost three years and it's long overdue. You know, um, COVID-19 doesn't do anything <laughs> to help with that because of course you don't want to travel because of COVID. Um, so we're going to take a, we're going to go ahead and go out there uh, it's just gonna be me and Christian this time and we hope to make it back for Christmas with everyone so okay, that's pomegranate that is a gorgeous color all right we're gonna go with mulberry <clears throat> Byzantium or Byzantium. All right, get this way. Lipstick. Yeah, I'm really excited about going home now. Like I said, we're gonna go see. I'm gonna go see my grandfather, who's in his. He's turning 90 this year, so we're gonna celebrate his birthday early. Um, and it's gonna be like a family reunion because we're gonna have family from the Northwest coming, from the East Coast, and then those who are in California will be there as well. So I'm really excited to see all of my family it's been so long. Now, if you can look, fuchsia and lipstick are pretty close in color, but they are not the same. Not the same color. All right, magenta is next. I like that magenta. That's nice. Very nice. I said I wasn't gonna go over them twice, didn't I? <laughs> it's a habit, you guys, when I do these swatches to go over each one twice. Um, raspberries next. This one also looks close in color to magenta. As you can see, it's not the same color, but it looks very close in color. Um, so, I mean, it really looks almost like the same color. All right, so next we have bubblegum pinks. Y'all know I love the pink colors. Yes, pink. These are soft, guys. I wouldn't say they're as soft as a Prismacolor, but they are soft. As you guys can see, I'm holding the pencil up here and I'm getting nice pigment. Right here. All right, we have watermelon. Watermelon. Ooh, that, that watermelon color is nice. This color is in the... Um, Skin tone set, these two here, bubblegum and um, watermelon. All 
Next we have a lilac. Ooh, that's pretty. Well, you guys, um, gonna be going back to the office very soon here. September 13th, we're supposed to be back in the office on a hybrid schedule. They want us to be in the office at least two days a week. And lucky us, well, I mean, we get to, my team, the team that I manage, we, um, we're gonna come in on Monday, Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursdays. Everyone's gonna work from home on Fridays. We, we're gonna do that schedule, and then I created two teams, so Team A will come in Monday and Tuesday, Team B will come in on Wednesday and Thursday, but I, I let them, you know, I kind of like to let them decide as a team what what's best for them because it's easy. I mean, it's easy for me to just say, hey, no, you guys, you two are coming in this day, you two are coming in this day, <laughs> and that's it. Um, but I really want them to have a say so as to what days are going to be in the office because I feel like if they participate in that, then they will be okay with coming in. <laughs> um, so, but you know, if something arises where they can't look at this is a broken, a broken one, but I can still use it. Um, but if they can't come to an agreement, that's when I, when I kind of step in and say, okay, well, this is what's happening, y'all. <laughs> I gave you guys a chance, and. We can't get it together, so I will decide. And that is what it is. But um, they were able to decide, which is great. And then I just decided I'll come in on, um, so I can see everyone each week, that I'll come in on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. And I'll work from home on Mondays, Thursdays, and Fridays. All right, so this is Indigo. Some really nice colors in this set, you guys. And they are nice pencils. Now, I went to look um, at the reviews on Amazon, and they pretty, they have a lot of high reviews. Uh, people tend to like these pencils. Um, so, you know, you can go check them out. I think these are available on Amazon, but they also have their own website um, where you can go and buy um, their supplies that they have. I, I'm going faster than I normally do for these because I'm not um, going to do speed <laughs> speed swatching because uh, I think people like to hear me talk. I think. <laughs> I think. <laughs> um, kind of get to know people when you when they're talking, I guess. So, all right. Next is Prussian blue. And that is, I didn't even show you guys the numbers. Okay, that's number 33. Let's get this all the way in screen for you guys. Okay. <clears throat> this is Prussian, Prussian blue. That's a nice dark blue. I would think that this would be a royal blue. But that's navy. Look at how that's like a blue blue. Because I would think this is a navy, but you know, every every um color pencil company has their own names for colors and what you might think is navy is not their navy. <laughs> it's their blue. So all right. Oxford blue. That's a nice blue. I can tell already. Oh, that's nice. The good thing about doing swatches is you can actually practice going, practice coloring from dark to light. 
if that's how you do your swatches. Some people don't swatch that way. Some people just swatch all one, um, you know, all one tone or hue, or I, I guess, I don't know, one pressure, let me say that. They swatch all one pressure. Um, but this is a way to practice the feathering by swatching your pencils. That's how I practice the feathering technique is to practice with my swatches. But these are nice pencils, you guys. They're light, they're not too heavy. Um, I do like I do like the way that they feel in my hand and I do like the way that they color on this paper and we will see how they color on an Amazon print, printed book. I'm gonna go over this one more time. It's my habit, so. <laughs> All right, so tray number one is finished. So we're gonna go to tray number two. All right, royal blue. Now here's a royal blue. Let's see what this one looks like. Oh, nice. It's a nice color. Nice color. All right, so now we're gonna go with Sapphire. That's number 38. Oh wow, I like that already. That's nice. So again, this is a 72. I haven't swatched these yet. This is the first time I'm swatching the 72. I've done the 48. And I like the colors in this 72 set a lot. Oh, turquoise next. Ooh, that's nice. I don't know guys, I love colored pencils. I think I'm a colored pencil nerd. Um, the next video I'm doing, you guys, is gonna be my colored pencil stash updated. Um, I put in on my community page. Who would like to see it? I got a lot of votes for yes. <laughs> so you guys, I'm gonna take you through my color pencil stash. And I think that with each color pencil set that I show, if I have swatched it, I will also show you what the swatches look like in the swatch book. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> that should be fun. <laughs> um, very fun because I have a lot of color pencils. Uh, okay, so this is baby blue. It's very nice. Very nice. All right, so that is the first 40 of the Art and Fly 72 set. And now we're gonna get into the last portion of these pencils, okay? All right, so we're gonna start with Azure. Now I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some speed coloring uh, when I do the coloring portion of this video because I made you guys sit through and watch me do that. <laughs> made you guys sit. I didn't make you, but you're watching, hopefully. <laughs> um, watching me do this, watching of this set. So I'll probably just, you know, talk a little bit. Oh, wow, Peacock is very green. I didn't expect it to be that green, that color green, but it's nice. Yeah, I'm gonna probably talk a little bit, but then speed color. So this video won't be super long. Yes, this is a nice color. All right, Viridian. I 
I like the greens so far. Very nice greens. You know, you know, you'll notice that I really don't talk about pricing for a lot of these pencils because prices change and, you know, it depends on you selected coupons and things like that. But I will definitely put the link to these in the description below. If you're interested in the 24, 48, or 72, I'll have all three listed um, with my Amazon affiliate link. Um, just know that if you use a link to purchase an item, I do get, you know, a small portion of that um, towards helping support my channel. And I appreciate everything that you guys purchased from my links um, because I've been able to keep my channel going um, by getting, um, you know, more supplies and books to share with you guys. So I really appreciate you. It's because of you guys that I'm able to keep going. I appreciate every every little you know gesture of kindness, whether it's a comment, whether you're purchasing from the link, whether you're saying hello, <laughs> whether you're giving me a thumbs up only, <laughs> skipping through the video, watching just five minutes, or watching the whole video. I appreciate it all. <laughs> All right, so this is Kelly Green. That's next, Kelly Green. You guys, these greens are nice. I really, really like it. Get a little bit um, of bloom here. These are oil, but you know, the way that they're, they're so smooth. They're very smooth. I really like them. Malachite. green that sea green is really kind of dark it's nice but when I think of sea green I didn't I wouldn't think of that color and this is why I do <laughs> swatches because if you just go based on the name of a pencil and not even paying attention to the lead the barrels or anything like that even the barrels you you could mess up a picture <laughs> that's why I like to see what these colors are some people just swatch as a color on just a scratch piece of paper that's that's good too at least you can see you know what's going on with that color or if that's a color you're looking for if you need to find something else but I just like having this book so I can go to it. Oh, that's Kelly Green, I want that one. No, that's not the color I'm looking for. No, I want this color, emerald. Um, so, you know, that's why I like swatches. It just makes it easier for me to color. But not everybody um, likes that, so. And that's why we're all different and we can all do it the way we like to. This color is pretty, not super close, but it's pretty close to emerald. This is deep moss. It's pretty close to the color above it. It's a little lighter. All right, Cape, Cape Verde. Wow. It's nice, nice, nice. We have forest green. Artichoke.
cadmium green. There's a lot of greens. I like the greens because I like coloring flowers and, tr and trees and stuff. So this is nice. Landscape pictures. If you like to do landscape pictures, um, this is a nice array or selection of green. And it keeps going. <laughs> we have fern. Oops, you guys didn't see that. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Next we have fern. <clears throat> oh, that's nice. That is a fun green. That's nice. All right, the last, looks like the last green is going to be mint. Next we have Morning Mist. That's an interesting name. Morning, no not Morning Mist, Morning Light. Morning Light. It's a yellow color. Or maybe this is their version of cream, a cream color, potentially. Marigold. See, this is another, you guys can, I don't know if you guys can see that red coming off into the yellow. I don't know why that's happening. Um, I'll try Tuscan Sun and see if it does the same. I don't know if it's the red pigment that didn't blend or mix well in the pencil, or if it's the um, not red pigment. I mean the yeah the the barrel paint getting in there. Sometimes that happens. And actually, guys, uh, you know, my my experience is if you have an issue with a uh, colored pencil, most colored pencil companies are going to fix it. They'll either send you the replacement of that one. Um, some companies don't offer singles, so they send you like the the set that has the smallest set that has the color you're looking for, and they'll send you the whole set. Uh, <laughs> And some of them are just so nice. They're like, oh, we're so sorry. Here's this and here's a couple of extras. <laughs> um, so don't ever, you know, feel like you can't contact a company for one pencil that has an issue because you paid for X amount of pencils and X amount of pencils should be of good quality. All right, so Melon. Just blowing the debris off there. Ooh, that's nice. I like the melon color. Next we have Sunset. Nice name. I like coloring sunsets. These colors here would be nice for sunset color. And the sunset background. Nice, nice, nice. I like that sunset color. Okay, next we have 
sandstone. move this color to the end of the the end of the um, the list of color you know the list of colors because it seemed like this would be a color that's up towards the you know up in the oranges but maybe they are considering it like an earth tone I think this is what they're doing earth tones or in the at the end of the list here at the end of the actual arrangement. Okay, so let's go with Tawny. I like that name, <laughs> Tawny. Yeah, it's more earth tones. Maybe that's why it's there. I like that, it's a nice color. Is pecan, pecan, or pecan? I don't know. You, <laughs> tomato, tomato, pecan, pecan. I say pecans. Cedar. Now this is the color that's missing from the uh, 48 set. It is missing. Um, hopefully they'll resolve that. I just want to see how they resolve um, these types of issues. All right, so chocolate is next. Close to cedar, but not too close. It's a little lighter. It has more like a reddish tone to it. Next we have pewter. And then the last but not least we have is charcoal. And I'm assuming this is going to be their version of black. Oh, this one's not as creamy. 
I feel like I gotta, yeah, it's kind of scratchy. Press pretty hard. Now all the colors are pretty good. Now this black is not too, uh, too nice. <laughs> it's not as nice as the other colors. Yeah, I'm not gonna like using this pencil. I can already tell. I don't know if it's something wrong with, with this pencil or what. It's not like the way the black one is working. All right. Okay, so that is all of the, let me zoom back out for you guys. That is the complete 72 set of the Art and the Flies. You guys let me know in the comment sections what you think about the colors. I think they're nice. It's a nice array of colors. The greens are fantastic for people who like to color botanicals, flowers, um, trees and things of that nature. Even the earth tones here are pretty nice. I see fall all day when I see this and when I see this. <laughs> my, one of my favorite um, one of my favorite seasons, fall. I love to see the fall foliage changing colors and it's just so pretty outside. All right, so now, um, you guys, I'm gonna be coloring and we're gonna come back with um, some coloring. I'll be right back. All right, y'all, so I've decided to um, try these Art and Fly pencils out in this 50 Summertime Mandalas by Camelia Andrukova. I really like her coloring book, but I wanna test it out on, you know, paper that no, most of us are coloring on, which is the Amazon printed paper. Sorry about the glare. <laughs> um, so we're gonna color in this book here, and I've selected a page, which is this cute page here. So you guys, I'm going to, um, you know, start coloring and talking just a bit, but then I'm gonna actually, um, do this as speed coloring because this is going to take it may take a while and I don't want <laughs> this video to be too long so uh, let me go ahead and zoom in we're gonna start with the leaves I like to you know start with one color and do all of the things that I'm gonna um, put in that one color first that's just my style <laughs> so I'm gonna start with the Kelly green which is number 46 from this set <clears throat> let me find her where are you, Kelly? There you are, Kelly Green. All right, so I'm gonna start with Kelly Green and I'm gonna just, um, I just wanna see what this paper, um, if these pencils like this paper, ooh, yes. So I'm not gonna do uh, probably very much, um, I'm not gonna do like three layers of shading, I'm just gonna do two just to make this go by faster because um, I want to see how they shade or how they blend as well with two colors. You know, um, you know, I'm not a professional, y'all, none whatsoever. I do this because I like to do it. <laughs> um, yes, so, so far I do like it. You do have a little white that shows up. If you press hard, you could probably get that out. As you can see, let me zoom back in a little bit more. That's better. Uh, but yes, I do, um, they work nice on this paper. Quite pleased. A lot of times I'm using, or coloring on these, in these books, I usually base the page first and then, um, you know, use colored pencils on top, but these pencils look like I won't have to do that. You know, it's okay for me sometimes to let some of the white show through. I'm not a stickler for making sure that there's no white. There are some people who do not like to see that, you know? So I can understand people not wanting to see that. I'm sure you can blend these uh, with a blender pencil because they're very soft. They seem like they will, um, the blender pencil will work on them. I'm not gonna try it in this, uh, in this video because I just want to work with just the pencils. Okay. So again, I like to just do all of the same, all of the pieces I'm gonna use this particular green in, and then I will um, 
switch to my second color. Basically just feathering out, starting dark and going light as I go towards the, end, the edge of a leaf. The tip. Okay, I'm gonna go here. and smooth pencils all right do I see any other yes all of these around here I will be doing the same green so this is where I'm gonna speed up because I'm sure you guys don't want to hear me talk through <laughs> those so I'm gonna go ahead and work through all of these greens and when we come back to speaking when I come back to speaking it will be to try the second color on those I've done all of the flowers that I want, um, all, of, all of the leaves that I needed to do uh, with that first color green. Okay, so now I'm going to see how the next color blends with it. So I'm going to use um, mint, which is number 56. Let me find her. <clears throat> Okay, I'm going to use mint. Um, this is just a lighter green, and I'm going to see how it blends with this. Okay, it blends nicely. I like it. Okay, you guys probably can't really see that um, because it's so, it's kind of close to that color, but not really. It's more on the yellow side. But I like it. It's very nice. Let me zoom out just a bit. Yeah, I'm not gonna do three color blending. I'm just gonna do two, because this page will take forever. And I know anyways, I'm gonna probably finish most of it off camera and then come back and show you guys, you know, how, how it looks when it's done. Yes, I like these pencils so far. And you know, I can see using them in on these pages because this paper and I don't have to press hard and it's going I mean the paper's like give it to me, give it to me. <laughs> That's what the paper is saying, give me that pencil. Yummy yummy. It's just eating it right on up. I haven't yet had to sharpen yet any of the colors so that's good so that is oh I forgot you get down here all right so that's how that leaf is gonna look all around for these particular leaves I'm coloring kind of fast here so it's gonna be a little messy it's not my it's not how fast I normally color but I do color fast, but not this fast. I'm just trying to make this go nice and smooth for this video. All right, so then we have one up here. 
So yes, these are pretty inexpensive too. I'm gonna have to, um, when I do the ending here, I'll tell you guys the price, the pricing on these pencils. They're not very expensive. They're, these are budget-friendly pencils. A nice budget-friendly pencil. You can't spend a lot of money and you want an oil-based pencil, you know this is a nice one to, to get to add to your collection. If you're like me, I have tons of pencils. I'm gonna be doing that video soon. <laughs> Actually this week, get that out of the way so you guys can see my updated pencil collection. But yes, this is, these are nice pencils. I'm glad they asked me to do this. You know, I like to try out new things. Okay. These are blending nicely. At least with two, two colors. And I don't see very much white and I'm not pressing that hard. I'm probably using about medium pressure. So now I'm gonna to go to a darker green. I'm gonna go with Jade. <clears throat> I can find her. So a lot of greens in this set. Here we go, Jade. I'm gonna go with Jade. And I'm going to color these leaves here in this this flower down here. Let's see, I'm gonna do this one. Ooh, look how nice and bright that is. Most people start um, light to dark, but for this video, I'm not doing that. I usually do, but I'm gonna do dark to light for this one. We have some leaf in here, don't wanna forget. But yeah, guys, these are smooth. I like these pencils. These will probably probably be named my Camellia Andrakova <laughs> pencils. <laughs> the Camellia Andrakova book pencils. <laughs> Sometimes I do that. I like say, "Ooh, I love how a specific pencil works and looks on a certain coloring book," and I'm like, "I'm only using those pencils in that in that book." And sometimes I get into that. I don't know if you, anyone else is like that. <laughs> That's just me being silly, I guess. Um, and I, most times I won't use anything else but that pencil in that book if I've already made that, you know, decision. So, but these are nice. So I'm doing medium pressure and then to light pressure. Medium to light. All right, over here. I thought this would be a nice summary page to do. You know. Yes, I have no clue what some of these flowers are. I think this is a hibiscus. Not really sure. I'm just gonna color it the way I want to. <laughs> uh, a lot of flowers, I don't know. I have to look them up sometimes. Um, but that's okay, you know, you could do whatever you want. That's the, that's what's fun about coloring in adult coloring books. There's no wrong or right color. You can do whatever you want. It's your interpretation. It's the way you want to see the picture and we can be as creative and crazy as we want to. That's what's so fun about this. This one in here. Guys, these are nice. I'm not, I'm just, I'm pretty impressed with how well they're working on this paper. Yeah. All right, so we have this one next.
All right, and then we're gonna do this one here. This is my last leaf of this of this type. leaf of that type okay now I'm going to get my next lighter color and I'm gonna go back to um, gonna go back to Kelly green for that one <clears throat> all right so we're gonna go back to Kelly green I just want to see how it blends with the the screen here Ooh, okay, nice blending. At least to me, I like it. Could have went a little lighter, but. These are nice pencils, guys. And I'm not just saying that. I love colored pencils, especially a nice color pencil. Just makes it fun to, you know, color a page. When you're having issues with the pencil because it's not blending well, or it's just, they're scratchy, they're not smooth, they're, it just takes the fun out of it because you, you seem like you're working too hard and you have to like burnish and I don't, I don't like burnishing, um, but that happens sometimes. I don't like when that happens. Um, you know, you just want to have a nice experience with your pencils. And these are making me enjoy coloring this page at this time. Now, I don't know how they will react on a smoother type of paper, because you know, with these pencils, you're gonna have more, um, I mean, not these pencils, this paper has more tooth, so, you know, on the smoother paper, that may not be the case, so. But I'm not gonna try it on smooth paper for this video, just this uh, Amazon print, because most of us are coloring on this type of paper um, in most, you know, most of the time. Well, unless you're a paper snob and you just don't buy books that are on this paper, or you're another person who maybe buys PDFs or, and uses only cardstock, you know, that could be the case too, so maybe I shouldn't say that. But, but these are these are nice for this paper. I'm enjoying it. All right, so, ooh, very nice. Okay, so now I'm going to get into these flowers. Um, oh, actually, I have some more green here. I think I'm gonna go darker. Let's go dark for that. Uh, I'm gonna go with emerald. <clears throat> We're gonna do emerald for these. Um, see, and I know these are birds of paradise and I can never remember like, is this green? But I don't think so. I think just this is green. All right, so. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna do all of these greens and when you come back, um, these uh, green pieces for the birds of paradise will be um, done.
All right, so I'm done doing that. So you guys, what I'm gonna say now is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna zoom out so you guys can see. This I'm gonna go ahead and complete off camera, okay, so that this video is not extremely long. And when you come, when I come back, all of this will be uh, finished and we'll just, I'll tell you how I enjoy the pencils. So far, so good. Um, I haven't gotten into this background yet because I'm gonna use just pencils on this whole thing. And then um, coloring the flowers and things like that. So you guys, when I come back, this will be completed and I will let you know how I really like these pencils, what I didn't like about them and so on and so forth. Okay, y'all, so I am finished with the picture and I absolutely love how it came out. I did I did have some issues with black. Black is not as smooth as the other pencils in the set, but I just went over this, uh, this frame several times just to get it, you know, nice dark black frame. But you guys, all in all, these pencils are great. Um, I wanna thank Art & Fly for sending me their product to review and to play with and test. Um, the one thing I will say about these pencils is that, you know, they did get gummed up a little bit with this blue and purple, and that was because of my own pressure. I was pressing too hard. These pencils, you do not have to press hard. So if you are someone who presses hard, you may have that issue with these pencils, but if you lighten up your pressure, then you can have a really nice um, experience with these pencils. So again, thank you, Art & Fly. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for these pencils. And um, I will say that Art & Fly said that they would let me choose some items to give away. I'm waiting for the response that they're sending those and then I will actually do a separate video with a giveaway. So we will have an Art & Fly giveaway on my channel, yay! Thanks to Art & Fly, we will be giving away some pencils and so, you guys keep an eye out for that uh, video. And I hope that you guys have enjoyed this um, swatching and mini review and coloring of this picture. Again, I'm sorry I didn't you know, record this whole thing, but it would have taken too long. So I figured I'll just color a little bit and then come back and show you guys the finished uh, picture. All right, y'all. Until next time, take care.